Hello guys and today I'm going to show you a pizza where the pizza manufacturer brags about how thin, yes thin, the pizza base is. No, I'm not making this up. Here, I got this um, because this is basically expired food I believe. I, there's a sticker on it so I assume this is going to be out of date. Um, I got this yesterday and I actually ate this today some of this today because I was so hungry I wanted a video on it but to be completely honest with you I was just too hungry and just didn't feel like faffing around with the camera at the time I was just desperate to just cook it and eat some of it okay but nonetheless you can see through some of the pizza through the hole and you'll notice here it states Romana it's from Pizza Express which is essentially a British version of Pizza Hut it's practically the same idea is Pizza Hut, it's practically the same as Pizza Hut's in real terms. Um, you can sit down and eat pizzas, or you they can deliver pizzas for you, or you can even buy them, in particular cases, made and sold in supermarkets, okay, where they make them and you can buy them from the supermarket like I did. I bought this from Tesco, okay? And you'll say it's Romar, but this is the interesting thing. <coughs> You'll notice it says extra thin base. Yes, they're actually bragging about the fact that the base is thin. They're bragging about the fact they put very little base on it. I'm not even joking. Now, for some reason they've called this um, Polo American. I've no idea why. I don't know what's American about this. Completely beyond me, but never mind. And on the back it says... A pizza base topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, smoky chicken, pepperoni and red onion. Finished with parsley, black pepper and oregano. And you can see um, that there. And the idea is you buy this and you reheat this in your own oven. I put it under the grill to be completely honest with you. Um, it says prepare your oven to the temperature below, remove all packaging and drizzle with a little oil. I'll be honest, I didn't even bother reading it. I didn't put any oil on it at all. I didn't even know you were supposed to put oil on it. Because most of them, you just put them straight into the oven. Frankly, but I usually put it under the grill, right? Place directly onto the top shelf of your preheated oven. Cook in line with the timings below. Remove carefully and serve it. I didn't know you actually put, because I've never seen one before, where it says put oil on. I think you just normally put it straight in. But never mind, I'll try that sometime. So now I know. And if I take it out, as I said, I've already eaten some of this. Right. And I'm sure somewhere I, it's got me eating a pizza somewhere. I've probably done one before where I've eaten pizza or something. I'm guessing because I can't remember. So this is a pizza, okay? This is a pizza. And although I haven't cooked it, for those people desperately to, desperate for me to see me eating some pizza, even though I haven't cooked this yet, this is raw, but it will do. This is uncooked. What we'll do, just to sit below for people desperate to see me eating a bit of pizza, okay? And this is what it looks like. I've grown in English. These are the pieces of pepperoni. This is obviously the grated cheese. The red bits are the tomato paste or tomato sauce. And um, obviously, now, this is the base, okay? And that's extra thin base. So, what do they mean? Well, you can see here, and the actual thickness, or rather lack of it, of the pizza base. And as I said, they're bright to give an indication. I'm putting my finger here, so you can compare. And this is an example of slice of a small slice of pepperoni you can see it's roughly about the thickness of the slice of the pepperoni so yes it is quite thin um, it's difficult to do this so I'm just going to tear a bit off again it's too difficult to actually close properly so I've got this piece here you can see compared with the thickness of my finger 
And I fold it over totally, so that's two of them that's folded over. That's my finger. So, for some reason, that is for people who want very thin bases on their pictures, okay? Now, what I'm surprised they're bragging about this because in the past they used to brag about how thick they were or how deep the bases were. You could buy these um, deep, thick, thick pizzas. And then, for example, when you went to Pizza Hut, they used to ask you if you wanted it thick or not. And But this is the first time I've ever heard of a company bragging about the fact that their base is very, very thin. I think this might be for people trying to um, go on a diet. Look, to be absolutely honest with you, if they are on a diet, I think everything else is going to probably use up more calories than the pizza, but never mind. Um, maybe it's for people who just are obsessed with pizza, but they want to save, you know, calories, but they can't bear to live without eating pizza. Okay. Now, as I said, you, I said this was the essentially the British version of Pizza Hut, um, the equivalent. I know it's the different companies. Um, Pe you, we do have Pizza Hut here as well. In fact, Pizza Hut is more popular than Pizza Express. Pizza Express at one stage were in severe financial trouble and needed to be rescued. Um, they're not as popular, as I said over here, I think, as Pizza Hut. Um, but there you go. A, an extra thin base um, pizza, just for you guys, okay? And normally this this pizza which I've shown you would have if it been complete. I mean, I did actually. I'll take it out again. I said I know I've eaten some of it, but if you had assumed I hadn't eaten any of it, right? That some of that I cut out and put in the under the grill and ate. But if if it had been complete, then normally that would have cost five pound fifty from the supermarket, and you have to heat it yourself. Okay, so this is straight from the supermarket. You have to heat it yourself. I said they also have their own restaurant, so you can sit down and they will cook it for you, totally fresh, and you eat it. But obviously, it costs more money. Um, I got it for. One pound thirty-eight, because it was about to expire yesterday. Apparently, I haven't actually peeled off the date, so I, I'm pretty much guessing. I'm going to see if I can do that now. Um, let's see. It might be difficult to do this. So, yes, I'm trying to pull it back. See if I can, um, because they put the sticker over the. Oh no, it's just over the barcode. That doesn't help. So, where's the um, expiry date then? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm really stupid. I thought they covered up the date. They hadn't, they just covered up the barcode. I'm such an idiot. On the front, um, it says it expired on the 25th, which was yesterday. And... And yesterday, um, England was were playing... America in the World Cup and apparently it was a goalless draw um, I'm not sure exactly what's happened today to prove to you um, that you know today is not the 25th but if you take my word for it you know um, it is one day out of date okay so and I ate it one day I ate it earlier today okay so it still tastes okay. So. You know, so. There you go, guys. Extra thin base pizza. I got this specially because I was so surprised they were bragging about it. I thought you guys might like to see it, okay? So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!